Sup guys, Juggalo here, and today we're going to learn how to take apart a GTX 680. It's pretty standard, um, just like the 590s more or less. You're going to have three screws located, one here, one here, one here, and then same deal on the same side or opposite side, you will have two screws right here and right here. So let's get started. Now you're going to need a small screwdriver right here like so really small tip I would suggest a plastic baggie to put all your screws in so you don't lose them I'm gonna need another slightly bigger screwdriver as well or Phillips head and then you're gonna need a Torx T6 so you need one of these guys if this is an Asus card alright now if you're an EVGA card it would probably be a standard really small uh, Phillips head screwdriver kind of heads. So the main screws right here are the heat sink right there. So let's get started. Um, I am not going to fast forward and stop and everything. I'm going to do everything on the fly so you guys can more or less, if you are watching this video, you can go along with me while I'm taking apart the card, ensuring that you are doing it correctly and everything. So we have one screw out. I'm just hoping taking off the cover is going to be easy and luckily enough the screwdriver is magnetic. Alright so we have two screws taken out next up we're going to take the three screws on the other side and this right here is just holding in the top cover so we'll be able to pop off this cover as soon as we pop off these three screws right here. So hopefully this will be able to pop out. It's not one to cooperate. Okay, there we go. And it sounds like they're doing construction on the other side of my apartment, unfortunately. So you might hear that because there's a upstairs a lady moved out, and so they're replacing the carpet and all that stuff. So we have the three screws taken out here, the two screws taken out here. So hopefully this whole cover will be able to pop off. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect it to make sure there aren't other, any other screws. So I'm looking and I was wrong. There's two screws right here, one here, and there's also one right at the very corner that is slanted on the other side. So I'm going to have to make sure to get that out. All right, and while you're at it, you got to make sure you take these two screws off right here as well. So they're pretty much the same size except for the one on the PCI bracket. And I already feel it uh, coming loose a little bit, so hopefully this will not be a pain in the butt to take off the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect again and make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong and just for safe measure I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom screw out that's right here just in case. So there we have it. All the screws are all taken off and now this thing should just be able to pop right off. And I'm looking to make sure there aren't any other things. So, wow, that was the easiest thing to take off. It just pops right off. All right, so now we're going to get to the bare bones of everything. And uh, basically what you're going to have to do first, I'm looking around, and uh, looks like you have to undo the fan pin, which is right here. So you want to get a small flathead, or if you're lucky, if your nails are long enough, you'll be able to just pop that out. So let me see if my nails are long enough so I can just pop this fan header out. And they're not, unfortunately. So I'm going to get a little cross-tip screwdriver and see if I can just apply a little force and it'll pop right out. So there we go. Now, um... 
there's a little plastic wire so I'm hoping I don't have to worry about that we already popped this wire off so all we have to do now is undo the big bits like all these little screws and everything and this thing should just pop right off hopefully so we already got the fan header undone alright so now this is going to be the fun part and uh, better not lose any of these screws because if you have to do an RMA and you lose these screws you are fudged more or less so let me, let me go ahead and make sure it's going to go ahead and go the right way I want it so we have to do all these cross steps right here or your T6 right here and that's what I'm going to do and this one is not magnetic at all whatsoever so I gotta be careful on how I pull these guys out because you lose one of these guys and you do an RMA and they're like hey you're missing a screw they might not uh, help you replace your card if it uh, goes bad so this is pretty easy pretty standard procedure on all the graphics cards I've done like I've done EK, or not EK, but Asus card, so it's the same deal. Go ahead and do this. And I hear upstairs the neighbors are walking around, and unfortunately, these, uh, what is it, the ceiling or whatever, the floor up there does not really have any sound dampening material. So you hear everything. Um, you hear snoring at night like one one o'clock you hear that that stuff's really annoying let me tell you so hopefully it won't take too long to take apart this card just making a quick tutorial I'm hoping it will be less than 15 minutes if I can do it under 10 minutes that'll be great I will just show how efficient I am at taking apart cards because I've done it so many times so All right, we got one, two, looks like three more to go, and then we have the four main screws. So I'm gonna see if I do all these screws first, I'll be able to pop off this black plate, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo the other four screws. Okay, we have all the screws taken off, okay? Now we're gonna see if we can pop this off, but how it's held down, it looks like I'm gonna have to take these screws that are holding the, uh, what is it? The one screw right here that's really, really small, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a really small screw right here that it has some kind of plastic piece holding the wire into place. So I'm gonna have to take that screw off and I'm looking around making sure there aren't any other screws inside here I have to take off because last time I had to do that with the uh, GTX 590 so I'm going to take this little screw off and here it is I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but it is a really 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 small screw alright I'm going to go ahead and undo these four screws right here and these four screws is what is holding down the heat sink itself so we're probably gonna have to take off the heat sink first and then from there we'll go ahead and take off this black cover right here so heat sink first and then a black cover so let me look hopefully this screwdriver will work it's been through a lot of abuse alright and be careful these screws are spring loaded so if you're not paying attention, these things are going to fly across the room. Alright. Now I don't think it really matters how you do it, but I, what I should have done is probably a crisscross pattern. But I don't think it really matters. Okay, there we go. We have that and wow. <laughs> that was quick. Alright, here is the heat sink itself. And uh, there it is. Here's the goo that they apply at the factory. Here's the copper plate that goes on top of the GPU itself. And let me see if I can grab some paper towels real quick so you guys can see what the CPU, or I should say GPU, looks like. It's not just an old rag. 
will suffice too. So I'm looking. Huh. I can't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my crappy t-shirts. So get a crappy t-shirt if you don't have any paper towels, you can use this to clean off the Tim. You're just cleaning off the Tim and then from there when you start applying new Tim, use isopropyl alcohol and everything like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this crap off. Alright. So I'm getting all this nasty Tim off the GPU. And then from here, if you want, you can just reapply new Tim. Make sure you use isopropyl alcohol first. Put your favorite Tim. I like MX4. And then put a little dot in the center. Mount it back up and you're good to go. So it's also the same thing here. Make sure you wipe off all that goo. Use isopropyl alcohol if you do plan to um, just replace the Tim. But I'm getting a water block. So I'm waiting for that. So that's why I want this video to be pretty short. Okay, there you go. There it is nice and clean. And here it is with the NVIDIA GPU. So let me get a nice close shot. Nice and shiny GPU. So there you go, some bling bling action. And then from now, I should be able to just be able to pull apart this PCB. So carefully pull apart outward and it all of it should pop off at once if you took all the screws like I did so let me go ahead and carefully lift this up and here you go here is the GPU itself you remember from the diagrams and everything I showed you from PC news you can use exact same layout right here these right here are the RAM chips right here and I'm not sure what is this right here so I'm gonna to have to look that up but here it is it's all naked nothing on it so just waiting for that water block so stay tuned comment subscribe rate this video click that like button and you guys have a great day bye